Hello. Today we're going to learn about high throughput sequence alignment of guides or short sequences. So to start, you'll want to take all of your Sanger sequencing reads and put them in a genius folder along with the plasmid that they're derived from. In this case, it's a Golden Gate backbone for cloning guides for Cas13. To begin, you'll select all of your sequences. In this case, you can do Control A and then right click and map to reference. In many cases, it'll automatically recognize your plasmid sequence. If it's not there, select it. And then using the default settings, hit OK. Once it has finished, go ahead and double click the aligned file and sort the sequences by name. Then highlight the region that is aligned and start zooming in. To extract the uh, area of interest, you'll want to start in an area that is of uh, sort of contiguous sequence and then highlight all the sequences to the next area of homology. In this case, it would be within the direct repeat. Now, uh, go ahead and copy the sequences, and then we'll go ahead and paste them into Sublime. Sublime offers a unique feature that lets you uh, highlight multiple characters at once and then delete them. So in this case, we'll go ahead and select all the dashes and use the find all feature to then um, highlight all of them. When there are many sequences, this can take a little bit of uh, time due to the processing. Now, once you've deleted all the sequences, you can remove the first sequence, which is just the reference from the plasmid. And you can double check that you have the uh, correct number of sequences. In this case, it should be 152, since we have 76 constructs and two primers per construct. So since uh, we highlighted some of the uh, homology sequence around uh, the variable region, we might want to go ahead and delete those. So uh, in this case, it should be the CACC in the beginning um, of the read. In this case, that's the first four letters of these sequences. So you can just go ahead and delete those. And then at the end, we have the beginning of the uh, direct repeat, which is GTTGG, which you can also uh, remove. Now, once you have all your variable sequences, you can go ahead and paste that into Excel. And then you can also uh, have your reference information ready. So in this case, this is a list of the guides and their sequences. Because we have uh, two primers per sequence, you need to change the reference information to uh, be doubled. So in this case, in Sublime, you can actually highlight um, everything you have and then Command Shift L to have a cursor per line, hit to the right, press Enter and repaste that information and now you have doubled it uh, very easily and you can go back and paste this uh, in Excel. Then using a simple formula, you can uh, check to see if your sequences are correct. And then use some simple conditional format uh, coloring to quickly see which of your guide sequences clone correctly. In this case, it seems like a majority have and then you can quickly zoom in on the ones that are incorrect and analyze them in further detail. So that's all we have for you today. Uh, thank you for listening uh, to my life hack. Thanks.